Hey guys, Gus here, and today I'm going through a very quick video on uh, how I did this mesh pattern with the Eldar Viper um, vehicle. Now I've had a few requests, both in comments as well as uh, as well as through private um, email, and now that there's some new, new Eldar stuff uh, in in the form of uh, the Harlequins that's been released, I thought that it's probably a good time to uh, to do a video about this. So. This is something I painted quite a while ago. Um, I entered it into the competition at um, uh, Grumpy Old War Games Convention. Had a lot of fun painting it. Really, really nice model. I mean, it's an old model, right? But uh, a lot of fun to paint. So, um, with uh, with this sort of um, mesh pattern, what I did was I, I went down to uh, the local art shop. It was actually a Tyndall's, which is a UK um, sort of chain art shop, but very easy to find online. Um, and you can get this um, sort of hexagonal mesh uh, pattern kind of like chicken wire um, as you can see this one's uh, this one's more of a hexagon shape whereas the the original um, or, or rather the uh, another pattern I've got is um, is actually a diamond shape so you can get um, sort of diamonds as well as as well as hexagons and of course you can you can stretch it out to uh, to change the the actual um, dimensions of the various hexagons or or, uh, or diamonds or what have you um, and on this particular example I used the, um, the hexagon pattern now what I did was um, I, I, I did the initial gradient in blue so this is all, all by brush um, worked up from I think it was the old midnight blue games workshop midnight blue and just worked up to like an ice blue slash white so I established the uh, the gradient first so whatever gradient you're using if it's blue red whatever whatever color so you get your gradient down first and then what you do is you, you put the um, you lie the mesh over wherever you want the pattern and all I did was I sprayed it with um, a can of white spray paint so obviously being very very careful an airbrush would, would be better because you, you get more specific and accurate application of paint with an airbrush and just use a, just use a white paint I mean if you want to use whatever color um, you, you want to put down as a pattern I suppose you can do I just used white um, and then as soon as I put that down I went back in with a, a purple glaze and simply um, if you see my previous videos about glazes, it's really, really thin down paint. I'm um, using uh, it was Games Workshop paint using, using the Lamium medium, so thin it right down. So it's very, very thin, um, very low opacity. Of, um, so it's a very translucent paint. And then all you're doing is you, you're dragging it towards um, the end of the vehicle, um, and it will tint the white pattern, whatever color you put down. In this case, purple, um, as well as establish a gradient from the blue through to the purple just by using the glazes and I think I did about two or three coats of the glaze um, and then right at the end went back and just did a bit of bit of edge highlighting just to just to pick out all the edges so really simple to do um, and I think it gives a, a pretty good effect um, so like I said Tyndall's go on there find whatever pattern you want establish your background gradient then go in with a bit of white spray paint or white paint from an airbrush um, establish the pattern and then use whatever color glaze you want and drag the glaze towards the end of the vehicle or towards where the pattern um, is the strongest, where the, where the white paint is, is most, uh, most prominent. And you'll get, your, um, you'll get your, uh, your pattern and your gradient and it works out really well, easy to do um, and I think it gives quite a nice effect um, and it's particularly appropriate to um, things like uh, the Eldar vehicles because they have lots of diamonds and things on, uh, sorry the Harlequin vehicles and even, even normal Eldar vehicles I, I like using this one because I think it suits the Eldar um, quite a lot. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed the, um, the really, really quick showcase and talk through about how I did the uh, pattern on the vehicles. I hope it helps. Um, and please send in pictures of your uh, finished examples. I want to see how you guys get on. I apologize for not um, being able to do a tutorial of this. I will do it at a later point. Consider this a part one of, of two parts. Um, I'm just pretty pressed for time. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, take care.